What's up everybody? Welcome back to the ET Surf YouTube channel. Here we are back in the shop today. My name is Kyle Brown and today we're going to be looking at what type of surf fin is going to be right for you. Alright, so the first thing you have to consider when buying fins is the fin size. They come in three to four different sizes, small, medium, and large fins. And they're based off of weight, so you're going to want to pick the fin that is right for your weight range. Small fins are saying anywhere from 105 to 155 pounds. Medium fins are 145 to 195 pounds. And large fins are anywhere from 180 and up. And these size ranges are overlapping a little bit. So for someone who can ride medium fins, in bigger surf you might want to switch to a little bit larger fin. All right, the second thing you need to keep in mind is fin shape. There's a few different templates that I've laid out right here, and I'll tell you a little bit about the differences in the styles and shapes of these fins. So the first template we have here is what I would call more of an upright fin or a pivot fin. This right here is the Futures Legacy P4. And as you can see, the fin is pretty straight up and down. And what that does, it allows the fins to turn a little more quicker, be more responsive, and have a little bit more slide to them. These fins are usually good for beach breaks and small waves where you need quick maneuvers and quick responsiveness out of the fin. The next shape that we have here is what I would call an all around type of template. Uh, there's not too much rake, it's not too upright, it's kind of right in the middle and generally works well for most conditions. This is gonna be your all around fin right here. The last two fins over here are fins that have a little bit more rake to them and rake is the curve of the fin backwards. So as you increase the rake of the fin, you're gonna increase the hold and stability that the fin has. Especially like this one here that is really swept back, this fin is gonna to have tons of drive and gonna hold in bigger, faster waves. So the third thing that you need to think about when selecting fins is the fin construction. They come in a few different styles uh, with fiberglass, carbon, honeycomb cores. Okay, so the first fin is gonna be your cheapest fin right here. These are just your standard plastic cheap surf fins, anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks. They work great, they work fine for the board, but they do have a bit more flex and they're a bit softer. So they're not gonna hold speed or generate speed as well as you want them to. Next up is your standard fiberglass and honeycomb core construction. This one, you can't see the core on the inside, but this is the standard setup for most fins. They're usually about 100 bucks and they're gonna give you the best high performance response in all conditions. Next up, we have more of a flexible springy fin, such as this Almeric Black Sticks fin from Futures right here. The way they put the carbon in this fin here allows there to be stiffness in the base and flex in the tip. That allows you for better speed generating, especially in smaller waves. So this fin here is gonna be an example of a stiffer fin. This one is the Futures Tech Flex, which it has the carbon in the base and the tip of the fin. What that does is that it stiffens up these areas and keeps a little bit of flex in the middle. Um, the more carbon that you add, the stiffer the fin is going to be. So this one is going to have a lot more speed control qualities, especially for bigger surf and steeper waves. And finally, the stiffest construction is full fiberglass like this fin here. These ones are completely stiff, very rigid, usually meant for bigger waves and step up boards. All right, and the last thing we're going to look at is the differences between three fin setups, four fin setups, five fin setups, and twin fins and everything else. First thing is your standard three fin thruster setup. This type of setup with three fins is gonna give you the most control, the most responsiveness, and the best high performance surfing in most conditions. Generally, this setup is gonna be the most stable for most surfers. And this is my all around setup for almost any board that I ride. Next up is the quad fin setup. Now with four fins, you lack that center fin in the middle, so you lose a little bit of the pivot that you have from the thruster setup. However, what you gain from four fins is a lot more down the line speed and maybe a little bit more of a sliding feeling. Usually these feel good for wide tail boards and in small surf, but you even see them in some step up boards these days because they have so much down the line speed. And many of the sets you see today are gonna come with five fin setups, so you have both the thruster and the quad fin option. Normally you won't ride them with all five fins, you usually won't be able to turn at that point, but it's nice to have the option between a quad setup and a thruster. It's kind of like having two boards in one. And the last thing we're gonna check out is some twin fin setups. These are the Machado Keels right here for the very popular Go Fish that he created. 
Um, and the twin fins, you can see they're much, much larger than your regular thruster fin. Um, that's because since you only have two fins in the water, you need a lot more surface area to create that hold and the control of the board. Now, even though these fins are very large, they feel super loose in the water and you can't push too hard because they like to slide out. But that's part of the fun of having a twin fin. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you learned something today. And although we talked a lot about different fins, it's not a hard science. And really, you just got to try different things and experiment because you never know when that right set is just going to click with that board. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And let us know what you'd like to see next time. Until then, see you later.